will be showing you how to create an iOS book for an Azure app. So basically, I have an app right now. You can see we have a complete app, and we are going to make an iOS book. Okay. It's a pretty simple process. Uh, there are prerequisites that you have to follow for this, which are you have to have uh, a MacBook and an iPhone device. So iPhone device would work if you don't have. You can use emulators, and uh, but you are necessarily need a MacBook for that. And once you have the MacBook, just let me clear all this. Once you have the MacBook, you need uh, things like export and App Store accounts, Apple accounts, and everything. So I hope you have your Apple account ready. In like, it's not a big thing. You can once you have your MacBook, you automatically create your Apple account. Okay. So for that, next you have to open the application which is Xcode. You can get the Xcode from the App Store by searching over here. Go to the Discord and just search Xcode. A little bit slow. It's yeah, you can find it, it's pretty much 8 to 10 GBs of size. You can open it, right? Now, going to the export, it's kind of something look like this, right? So, what's our goal? Is? In the simple terms, what the IO is built, as you can see, if I go here, just clean all this, right? Just. Yeah, this is my complete project. I will closing all so it's clear for you. Uh, and just go to the project. So what we have want to achieve is we want to create this folder, which is iOS folder. So firstly, what to achieve that to build that folder, you have to do Flutter build iOS. Right. So whenever you do the Flutter build iOS in the app directory, it will create this iOS folder basically or it will recreate it will upgrade or anything if you exist like in my case it is already there so it will update the previous folder and create a new one so this folder contains all the files that are required for your iOS app which are info.cls uh, then we have appdelegates.swift uh, we have our four files so this is our four file and this is very crucial file we have to this to add permissions, versions. You can see this is the version of the app 0.1.2 as an entire release to the down for the camo. And iOS, we have to do it over here. Then we have our bundle name, then we have our different things like uh, bundle identifier, version, and any permission you want to give. Like, as you can see, I am using the photo uh, library function to get the images from the library or the gallery. For that you also have to give permission. That's what I've given, right? So as you can see, our build is building right now. Yeah. So after that, so you see how things gonna work, right? Once you have done the protocol iOS, it will create this folder basically fundamentally and also build the app for the Xcode too. It takes some time, uh, it's a normal process, so it's gonna take some time. So, uh, assuming it's done, like in my case, you just have to go to your Xcode, uh, open existing projects, go to the open existing project, then wait for a few seconds, then go to the uh, app you want to open, then you go to the iOS folder, and just go and click on the runner.exe workspace. Okay. Once you do that, your project will be open in the export and it's ready to rock. It takes a few minutes, so hold on, take your time, don't press here and there, just wait for it. So it is pretty much open right now. As you can see, this is our info of here. And it is same as this info of here, right? Yeah. Okay, so now we are focusing on where it is, where it is. Yeah. these are the two folders we are our app so mainly we are going to work with the runner app okay so now there are a few things you can modify from the export because for running anything so firstly from uh, we are going from the top to bottom so this is our play call button basically if you want to run the build so you can just run it over here right now it will be connected any device so i don't have that access okay so 
moving forward it requires a device so i have my own devices i have my emulators over here so if i press the emulator it's gonna select the emulator it's gonna open the emulator and i will as i did that I, let me do this one thing side by side so the emulator got open so i can show you live on how the things have worked okay so waiting for it uh, just a few seconds I uh, will fail because my emulator is not open. I understand that, it's not a problem. Okay, so now there are a few things that you have to consider over here. So, first of the thing is uh, this is the minimum deployment. So, this app will work minimum on iOS 12, not uh, below that. Uh, it depends on your app, what the functionality it requires, what packages it uses, and how much version uh, elongation it requires, basically. So, if it has permissions like uh, the, as I can see, I have some film packages or plugins uh, which requires greater than minimum 12 version. So we have to go to that. Then we can also connect the app category. As you can see, I have can connect over here. Education, finance, this is a game. You can go this. Health style, healthcare, magazines, social productivity, social media. We can just go in the education part or the foods and drinks part. Healthcare, fitness, and lifestyle. We can just put it in the lifestyle. We can create that in display name over here. So you can add your name over here. Right. This is our bundle identifier because it cannot be uh, common. It must be unique to uh, for your app. Based on this, your apps will be created and everything. So focus on that. Okay. After that, we have our other features like. Let me show you this just a second. Uh, Webinars uh, of my new panel version 0 0.12, build 0 0.12, and then we have a deployment target. It's not important if I'm going to do Yeah, after like upside down, you can set the orientation. If I just turn it off, it will not rotate it over like left or right side. So, it is a good thing, right? Uh, you can also set for the iPads. I can just do the shit uh, like depend on me status bay i can do the dark content i do the application launch requires full screen uh, if i can i can select the icon i can also select the launch screen file include all app icon assets there's so many features in app to explore that you can do from here rather than doing from the like vs code or coding it on the flutter app so this is very good for that okay next part we have wmg uh so now the important part sign in and capabilities it's gonna be an important part if i put my automatically so you will get something like this in your export project so starting with you have to go and select your uh, select over here so once you do that it will enable automatically sign in right after that you have to select the team you want to work so right now i am publishing on play store and app store using my this account using my webinar team i can use my personal team to go the app but it will not let me uh, go for the test flight or production or anything right so for that we were using the webinar just the webinar and as you can see we don't have any error we also we have to do for this part too we not our test and yes i have already done that so it's on the show okay we have to do all four it's gonna work on that okay and another important thing is the info.list file. This is the info.ps file basically. Uh, it is similar to this file. If I change values over here, it will change over here too. So this is 0 0.12, 0 0.12, and like versions, name, uh, and all the other things. This is the info directory version, a public identifier, and everything. Now, you have your phone settings. So if you want to change anything from here, you can modify this and make it work. Finally, we have our build rules. You don't usually have to touch it, but build rules are good. If you have to do like some custom things, got some rules you have to set on your app and restriction you want to set on the app. Also, the build phases. This is also not usually touched by the developers. Uh, if in the certain cases you have to do this, but you don't usually go with this. Like you don't really work with this, right? Okay. Now coming with this part over here. Uh, this is like all our apps, this is our like logs, we don't need this thing, there's bookmarks, we don't use that, search, we don't use that over here, 
Now, this is your error and exception box. It will show all the errors in the build, all the exceptions in the build. So, exceptions are gonna be there, like because I'm changing the version to two and uh, issues I have the issues in the build. But that's not an issue, that's an exception. We can accept them. You can just take it lightly. Uh, if you got the time, you'll fix all of them. But right now, we we'll be more focused for the errors. Okay? So the red ones right so red ones are important you have to focus on them so i don't see any red ones so uh, go that way similar to this uh going to the debug session it's gonna have a record for each and every debug section of your app for the current session of the expo not like entire history okay and finally this is also not important like to show the hierarchy and the structure this this Just a second, I don't know why it's gonna ruin this. Yeah. Uh, so this is it. After that, we put it back. We select our devices and uh, and uh, runner dot uh, dot info. Uh, this is runner. Just after that, just to select device and play the button. It's changed to any version, but it will work on the uh, Also, one more thing you can do from the VS Code. Uh, now, my uh, device is not connected. Uh, if you connect your device or wirelessly connect your device, it will automatically show over here. And once it shows over here, uh, you can directly call like the select your iPhone device or start the iOS emulator and press function F5 and you will get directly from the app on the app store right so these are the basic things you have to follow you have to make sure it's all working right now i'm not going to work like wait for three to five minutes for an uh goal to make for the video i think i'm pretty tired for this so let's move forward without anything just you know what's gonna happen it's gonna build it's gonna take a few minutes and, and after that it's gonna work like a chunk so that's it for the video. I think you have to unlock your mobile screen, right? Of course, right? You have to unlock your mobile screen to work because right now, once you is locked, it's gonna be browsed on the app. So just wait for a few minutes, your logs will be there too. What happened, what not happened. Uh, if any error comes, search for the Apple developer help center or Google or press chat to be basically. I think we are going good. So as I said, it's telling me to unlock the resisting iPhone continue. If I unlock my device, it's gonna run. So right now I'm going to cancel this. I just cancel this and I think we open. I hope you guys understand this. Uh, thank you uh, and have a nice day.